Hi Aries, welcome to your general, um, general full moon, total lunar eclipse, middle of May reading. We're going to do general, and then at the end we're going to pull a couple cards for love. So for those of you that are just interested in love, click on the icon that's connected and take you right over to what's coming towards you. But I did a full love reading for this time also, and it's already out. So, Aries, we're going to see what's coming your way. What oracle messages Spirit has for you during this full moon, total lunar eclipse, middle of May energy. Peacock Spirit, card of 10, let it shine. So there might be change coming towards you during this time. Pay attention to feathers while you're out and about. Spirit's way of connecting with you. If it's a peacock feather, that's even more amazing. If you're going like to a zoo, somewhere where there are peacocks, you might see a feather, not literally on the peacock, but on the ground, spirit's way of connecting with you, letting you know that they're near. For Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus spirit. Thank you. The garden and the gate. So look at that card, guys. Where the person is at, masculine or feminine, is on the other side of the gate. Where there's stability, where it's well-known, abundant, beautiful. But beyond the gate, there's a whole new life. You're not sure what you're walking towards, but you know it's lit. It's like the full card, like, you know, put away your fears, step out of your comfort zone and take that leap. There's something amazing that will be on the other side. All right. oh, great big love. For those of you that are looking for love, you might step through that gate and find the love of your life. You might step through that gate and realize how much strength you have and increases the love that you have for yourself. We're going to do the past energy, the energy that you're in now, what you need to embrace during this full moon, total lunar eclipse, and then what you need to let go of. All right. At the bottom of the deck, the three of cups. It might be a time that you're out with your friends, your family, having a great time, maybe going to graduations, weddings, things that are taking place because it's spring where I'm at. Might be at somewhere where there's like a garden venue, a party outside, you know, where it's just beautiful. Enjoying time with your family and your friends. The past energy is the Ace of Swords. So something brand new might have entered your life. Something that's very trustworthy, something that you know you can depend on, honest communication, the energy that you're in. Page of Pentacles. So it's like you have your, you have a specific thought, your eye on something. Could be a person, could be an endeavor, maybe wanting to go back to school, maybe thinking about changing jobs. Maybe thinking about taking a cooking class. Something that, you know, is going to feed your, your interest. Learning about something. Somebody could also be coming towards you and giving you an offer. You may be offering something to someone. What you need to embrace is the judgment. It's, you know, anything that didn't work in the past anything that 
you know, left you feeling heartbroken or defeat it, leave it in the past. You have, this is the chance to embrace the full moon, embrace the total lunar eclipse and start fresh, clean the slate off and start fresh. Bring clarity to your life. I'm going to tell you real quick, a full moon ritual. Do it if you're into it. If you feel like drawn to it, I do it for every full moon. But with it being a total lunar eclipse, it's even more powerful. Write down on a piece of paper what you would like to happen in your life. Goals in the near future. With love, career, finance, anything that your heart desires, put it on a piece of paper. Things that you want to let go of, put that also on a piece of paper. Burn the piece of paper in like your kitchen sink, somewhere, you know, where it's safe. Burn it. Allow, collect the ashes. Go outside to your backyard, to your front yard. If you have a plant in your home, or maybe you need to walk a couple blocks or drive a couple blocks to the park. You could do it at dark when no one sees you. Make a hole and put those ashes in the ground for the universe to absorb, for the moon for the full moon energy and the total eclipse energy to pronounce it, you know, bring so much more power to it. Your universe will absorb that and so will your spirit guides and see what happens. Try to do it every full moon. What you need to let go of is the idea that you do not have the power to make your life exactly the way you want it to be. Spirit is telling you, step through that gate, step into the unknown, because you have that power. Like I said, by stepping through that gate, you might find this great big love that's waiting for you. You might gain the strength within yourself when you step through that gate. Like, oh my God, you know what? I really can do anything I put my mind to. I'm not afraid. I know spirit's got my back. And then that's when your self-love increases. Either way, this is a time for you to shine. People are watching you. People are noticing you, Aries. All right, we're going to pull a few more cards just to clarify this. <coughs> and then we're going to do love. Excuse me. Yeah, see, there is that brand new beginning, that walking away from any kind of hurt or deceit or dishonesty that people had for you. That didn't take how it was going to affect you into consideration. That they didn't care. Or that somebody didn't completely open up and tell you the full truth. Yep, there it is. That brand new beginning, the walking away from the bullshit, the hurt. Letting go of the past with this judgment card. There you are. Sitting on your throne. You might have a cat. Might love sunflowers. But see all the growth, the new growth? Sitting on your throne, knowing that you have desires and passions that you want to move towards. Whether in love, whether a new position at your job, advancing, going back to school. But there is, offer, there is also an offer coming towards you. You might have applied for a job, applied for school. Something's coming through that's gonna make you happy in terms of your finances. Allow yourself to open up. Make the decisions where they need to be made. Stop covering your heart and allow it to be open for this great big love coming in. And there's the rejoicing. Look, twice. You got things coming your way, Aries, during this time. Might even go longer than this time because there is no timing with tarot. But it might be when you're at like an outside party, graduation, wedding, engagement party, birth announcement party the sex of a baby party you know those like is it a boy or is it a girl something that you're at you are going to find this great big love you might even for those of you that are already with someone 
it might be a time where, you know, if you're dating someone, you go to a party like this with someone and they just click so wonderfully with your friends and your family. And it makes you feel like you hit the jackpot. Like this is the person that I can bring around my friends and my family. Or who knows, if you go to a wedding or an engagement party and you're already dating somebody long term, it might put the thought into their head. You know what? Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time I make this move. Maybe I should get engaged to my person. Okay. For love. Better times ahead. Somebody could be traveling towards you. But better times ahead. More harmonious times. Peaceful times. Ten of Pentacles. Something very abundant and long term. Could be this offer coming in. That's going to be bring abundance and make it long term. And the Emperor... And you know why? Because you are shining. Because you know your worth. You were never going to settle for what truly wasn't meant for you. The person coming towards you could also be a fire sign. One that may be a boss or a CEO. But I feel like they're coming in quick. With the Knight of Swords, they could have fire in their chart with air. But this offer that's coming in for some of you, it's going to be one where they want to make great memories with you. Like I said, you might travel with this person. But they're going to be able to offer you stability and support. All right. Deep connection with the lovers. Soulmate twin flame connection. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune. This person that you're going to meet in the very near future, part of your destiny, part of your um, journey. This person was meant to meet you at this time. Look at that victory because you're shining. Because you're not going to stay where it's comfortable for you. You're going to step through that gate. And look at everything that this full moon is going to bring towards you. All right, Aries, this is amazing. Let me know how it resonates. And for those of you that it doesn't completely resonate, go to your rising moon and Venus signs. That way you get additional messages. But this is a great time for you. Take that leap of faith. Walk through that gate to the unknown. People are going to notice you immediately. And for those of you that are looking for love, it's coming towards you. All right, guys, love and light. Stay safe. I'll be back for many more readings.